Greetings from Seoul, Korea, and welcome to the IPL 5 Korean Qualifiers. I'm Tasteless, and with me is Andy. How you doing, Andy? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, I just casted my first League of Legends game <laughs> um, a little bit ago, uh, which you guys probably just saw. So we're on to game number two. Uh, I am so happy to have you here with me. I'm such a I'm treat. So glad to be here too. It's 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 awesome. <laughs> this guy knows what he's talking about. Um, I just ask gift wrapped questions, <laughs> um, and we get a cast together. So uh, we just saw uh, Najin Shield dominate. Yeah, pre pretty match. much dominate. Uh, you know, Azubu had some chances to come back and you know try and take the game, but overall, I would say uh, Naji just yeah dominated. Yeah, I mean, there was never a moment where we saw Azubu really have, uh, you know, I, I feel like an edge in that. There was mm -hmm. moments where we saw them do some good plays, mm -hmm. but I, so far uh, from what we saw um, with those two, fairly one-sided Najin, mm -hmm. clearly the better player. Yep. Um, and we're going to be going on to our next match here very soon. Yep. Uh, of course, League of Legends, the most popular game that's been proven now mm -hmm. in the whole freaking world yeah <laughs> in the whole freaking world man everybody plays league of legends uh, if you're unfamiliar with me i'm a tasteless from the gsl code s the uh, most competitive starcraft 2 uh, tournament in the world mm -hmm. and i'm now down here uh because because go and want to do some league of legends stuff to cast this if you want to see more of me check me out at uh, the code s all right on to the rosters of these two teams first team cj antis Yep, and in the top lane we have Long Panda. Um, the bot AD player will be Space. In the jungle we have Insect, and in the mid lane we have Dade. And on support we have Kanish. Kanish. Yeah. Now, um, with these players, who's the MVP? Who's the guy we want to look for? Is there anybody we want to look for? Um, I am actually not familiar with all of these players. I am familiar with Dade, though. Um, he actually was ranked number one on the Korean service for uh, for some time. It wasn't a dominant reign. What, what kind of ELO is that, then? Uh, I think he was around 2,500 rating uh, What's, what's, what's your ELO again? Uh, my ELO best. is 2,300. Sick. Um, Sick I'm I mean, casting <laughs> with a dangerous nerd here. All right, so and, um, uh, here we go. Uh, we have Team Storm over here. What do we need to know about these guys? Um, actually, I've, I've played with, mm, I think, every single one of these players I've played, you know, at oh, least really? a game with. Yes, uh, I'm, famili I'm familiar with all these players. Um, they're all very good, uh, you know, very experienced. Um, I think most, if not all of these players have been playing, you know, for quite a while now. So is there anybody on there that we want to watch for? Um, anybody who's just on, more on um, Storm's team? Um, for Zenix Storm, let's see. So actually, many reason is their usual mid player. Um, however, for this game, he actually said he will be switching to the support role. Okay. Uh, where, Mixing it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, where Wisdom will be going to the mid lane. Um, you know, many, many reason um, you know has been quite renowned for his mid play, but you know, unfortunately, we won't we won't be able to see that tonight. Um, but you know, every one of these teams, you know, they're they're quite a uh, young team compared to some of the other teams. Um, you know, they're they're fairly new, but they're still all very very strong players. Okay, we're going right into it. The phase where players can ban certain champions, and yep. then of course begin selecting their own. Uh, who are we going to see banned here most likely? Um, I think these teams are going for fairly standard bands. Um, you know, Ezreal, Vladimir, Blitzcrank, Malphite, Sona. Uh, you know, all these bands are, are fairly uh, generic. However, you know, there is some targeting involved with some of this. You know, Blitzcrank actually is not a common band, but I'm guessing um, somebody on Storm's team is a very good Blitzcrank player. So, you know, they're just getting rid of Blitzcrank. So you, know, you do a little bit of research on your uh, opponent. Exactly. Say, okay, exactly. look, whenever we see this guy use Blitzcrank, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's he's a little bit too dangerous. Or just, you know, let's let's eliminate them mm -hmm. and then play a little bit more by our yeah, rules. Yeah, yeah. And actually on Storm's side, we have an Oriana ban, which is um, actually targeted towards Dade. Uh, you know, Dade has been, you know, the, is, is, a, is an Oriana player and, you know, I guess Storm just doesn't want to deal with that. Uh, you know, we have a either Rengar or Shivana pick. I it looks like maybe Rengar. Actually, Rengar is um, is considered by some 
OP at the moment. You know, he's slightly imbalanced. Some people say, you know, he has too much damage. But actually, they have switched to a Nunu pick. So okay. that Nunu will most likely be a support Nunu. However, he's... Nunu does have the option of going to the jungle. But, uh, we, we see he got Smite, you know, there with that. Um, so. Yeah, but we probably won't won't see Nunu go into the jungle. Okay. Um, you know, he, he's not, uh, I don't think, he used to be a very strong juggler, but uh, he got slightly remade and, uh, you know, kind of changed up. So uh, his jungle, I would say, isn't as strong, or he just gets outclassed by other junglers. But, um, you know, we, we could see that uh, Nunu jungle this game. Um, and now it's Storm's turn to pick. Um, I mean, off this, I I don't have any I don't have any good predictions. Um, I know they might just go with the safe bottom lane pick. Um, it is harder to counter pick bot lane, so that could be a Zyra support pick, which is you know very safe. Um, Let's see. Yes, and they will right. go with the bot bottom lane pick. Um, I mean, Zyra could be going mid, but I mean, I, I, I'm most likely sure it will be Varus and uh, Zyra. In okay, the and they're bot gonna go with Smite for that. Excuse me. I think I said earlier that <laughs> they went for yeah. Smite. I, I swapped the. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, it looks like Lee Sin will be going into the jungle, and it will be a new support. Okay. Uh, now. I think uh, they haven't locked that in yet, so you know it's not it's not for sure. But uh, if they do pick this Leeson and uh, Olaf, then the Olaf will be going top, and the Leeson will be in the jungle. All right, time uh, yeah. for the next pick. It's another uh, pretty safe pick for top lane. Uh, he has a lot of sustain. He's tanky. Uh, he brings a lot of utility. Um, but actually, it looks like they have switched back to Olaf. Uh, it will be Olaf in the top lane. And your predictions for the next two picks here. Um, so yeah, I was gonna say Shen because Shen. Shen is a very uh, you know very strong. Um, he Shen will be able to deal with Olaf in the top lane, but they looks like they're switching to possibly a Jace. Uh, um, oh, but, maybe back to Shen now. Yeah, okay, they do go Shen. with Shen. Yep. Um, they haven't locked in yet, so you know we can never be too sure. Um, but yeah, they have locked in the Amumu, so Amumu will be jungling for. Uh, oh, and no Shen this time. Yeah, and, and they actually have switched Shen for Irelia, so it will be Irelia versus Olaf at top. And actually, uh, one thing that Storm might need to be careful of is uh, actually Leeson invading. Uh, invading Storm's jungle because Amumu is actually very uh, a fairly weak jungler in the beginning, so he's very easily counter jungled. You know, if you have a if, if you have a strong jungler, early game jungler, then you can actually bully Amumu in his own jungle and possibly steal buffs, kill him. Uh, right, so we definitely want to watch for that here. Yeah, so we we should watch for that. Um, actually, uh, CJ has picked up Kogma, so that will be Kogma Nunu, uh, and Mo will. I'm, I'm, I think it'll be a Rise mid pick. Um, you know, Rise has always been you know very safe, fa uh, safe mid pick. Um, you know, he has a you know, yeah, his early game is is not not great, but you know he has a lot of utility. He's tanky. He brings damage, and it looks like that will be locked in. And now we have the final pick going on for Storm. And oh, actually, a Nivea. Okay, uh, might be picked up here. And it looks like we're almost ready to go. Yeah, so... Um, what, I, what are your thoughts on this makeup, you know, as of now? Um, Is there anybody here who's going to have a clear advantage? What are the strategies we're going to need to see going into this match? Um, well, like any game, you know, you can't completely predict a game with just the champion picks. It all comes down to how the team performs, how they team fight. Sure, sure. Um, you know, the gold advantage and this and that. But... Um, I would say I would give the team fight advantage to Storm right now. You know they have the Mumu, which is extremely strong in team fights. He has an AOE snare, potentially uh, snaring all five enemy champions. Anivia has an AOE slow with an AOE stun. Faris has an AO slight, kind of like a slightly uh, AOE snare as well. So um, I, I feel like Xenix Storm does have a a slight advantage during team fights. However, CJ does have the Kong Nunu, which is just as strong. So, um, yeah, yeah, I would say CJ has a better, better mid game, 
possibly, and Xenostorm has a stronger late game. Okay. So, um, you know, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how this game goes. Uh, yeah, so it will be Zyra support, Nivea mid. Um, yep. And it looks like we're going to get this game loaded up very shortly here. A lot on the line. You lose this, you're down to the losers match. Exactly. It's and very actually, unforgiving. The first, uh, the first team to move down to losers brackets was Azubu Blaze. So um, I, I believe on the 20, is it tomorrow or is it on the 28th where the two losers will be facing off? Uh, uh, looks like we'll have you know, tomorrow a few losers. And yeah. then, you know, on the 20th, we'll have another losers match as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, okay. So, no, by the November 5th, guys, this tournament's going to be done with. It's uh, not a long period of time. It's our first time at Golem doing this. It's the first time, actually, I'm casting in League of Legends. <laughs> um, which is why I'm so grateful you're down here, Andy, because I, you know, I'm not even level 30 in League of Legends. I'm just <laughs> used to hosting TV shows. So, normally I'm doing StarCraft stuff. Um, but this is going to be interesting to see how these two guys do. Uh, yeah. In this match, um, you know, two teams. CJ has a long history of of, um, of esports teams out here. Oh, they? they go way back. Yep, um, all the way back in the Stark F1 days. Um, actually, for those of you guys who aren't from Korea, CJ Ents is actually a massive uh, company out here in Korea. One of the biggest ones. Oh, big okay. manufacturer of a lot of stuff out here. Um, so this game actually should be pretty good. Um, you know, every lane is, is fairly even uh, on matchups. Uh, you know, no team has a, a an outstanding uh, advantage. Uh, sure, they both have equal equal chance. They're both very good teams. Uh, we should have a very good game coming up. Cannot wait. And when that game is up and running, we will throw that up on screen for you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us here at uh, Golem TV Dynet. Do you have a Twitter? Uh, I do not, actually. Okay, we'll get uh, you a Twitter show. We can start <laughs> plugging that. If you guys want to add me on Twitter, call me Tasteless. And, um, yeah, definitely uh, feel free to check out um, a lot of the stuff that we got here for League of Legends here at GolemTV.net. It's so popular in Korea. You know, League of Legends, it's so interesting to me because I know, obviously, it's like the most popular game out there. But I, I never knew it was going to get this big. Yeah, me neither. You know what I'm saying? It, <laughs> yeah. Free to play game online. Cool, cool, cool. But, uh, you know, it, it's so impressive. There's not even really a single player. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, it, but yet, yeah, everybody loves it. The, the MOBA games, they are taking over. Mm -hmm. um, and I look forward to this. I think it's great for esports. Mm -hmm. I might be from StarCraft, but I think, you know, having other esports out there. Uh, that are going global like this is, is always a good thing. Definitely. Now, are you on a team right now? I am not on a team, actually. Um, I mean, you know, I, I would consider if someone asked, but, um, you know, I'm not going out of my way to find, you know, a pro team. So when you when you play with these top players, I mean, how does this work? Are you a ringer then for some of these uh, other teams? No, no. So basically, um, I just, when I play solo queue, um, you know, these guys will also when they're down, when they have when they have downtime from team practices or team scrimmages, you know, they they log on and they play solo queue, which is essentially a, it's ranked games where you go in alone or with a dual partner and you try and try and win. So here we go. Um, the players are now loading into the game. Uh, we should be starting this game shortly. It's gonna be awesome. CJ against Storm here. A lot on the line right now. All these guys, obviously, they want to get to the finals. They want to represent Korea uh, at the IPL World Finals. IPL 5 World Finals, I should say. Mm -hmm. So here we go into the game. Um, CJ Entis versus Xenix Storm. This now, is the second game of wish, the Group A. Sorry, sorry, please, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Second game of Group A, a lot on the line. Um, and this is uh, actually a double el elimination, so even though you do lose, you will still have a chance to yep. win. Yep, you're not out of it yet. So from CJ, expect long panda top, Dade mid, um, we'll probably see space at bottom AD. Uh, Kanish is going to be support, and Insect is going to be jungle. Yep, and we have a pretty uh, <coughs> standard opening um, 
We do see uh, Xenix Storm warding their red, so they will actually... Yeah, they will spot Nunu and Olaf warding that, warding that brush. So actually, uh, Storm does know that um, their red has been warded. Um, and it looks like Storm is now going in for a counter... Um, it looks like a counter uh, scouting, essentially, where, you know, they go in and they ward the enemy's... Uh, Enemy the enemy's spots. turf over Exa there? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. So, um, you know, just pretty standard. Uh, nothing too crazy. Just, you know, getting some map control. Um, and we... Yeah, it doesn't even look like we have a lane swap going on. Um, it should be pretty standard. You know, just the top lane is going top and the bot laners, you know, going to their respective lanes. Yeah, sure. Um, it does look like Storm kind of hiding here in these bushes. Yeah, um, it looks like Moo might be starting red because he knows his uh, red buff is warded. So, basically, you know, what Moo was trying to do is not get counter, counter, uh, counter jungled by Lee Sin. So right. he is starting that red buff, so he will be protected by bot lane if Lee Sin does choose to invade and add his blue. But actually, Mumu got his race, and now he's moving down towards the blue, which um, I don't exactly understand, but um, I guess it does give bot lane um, an equal advantage, because um, basically, if you're on blue side, then the bottom lane ha is able to uh, consume the double golems in the bot lane and what that okay. does it gives you an xp advantage over your lane opponents so what um storm wanted to prevent was uh cj's bot lane to get a an xp advantage so what they did was they took they actually took their own um wolves and then abumu just started at race which is basically just sharing the XP jungle and making sure that you know they have an equal advantage going in, going into the lane. So actually, we have a counter, counter buff <laughs> steal. <laughs> so we we see we see Lee Sin stealing Storm's red buff, whereas Storm is stealing CJ's red buff. So kind of a little bit of a role so, reversal here. Yeah, is so where, it's kind of where, it's where just people uh, would normally be on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they they come out even. Um, you know no. Neither team has got an advantage out of that. Um, looks like a Mumu might be going down for a bot bait, uh, bot gank, but he will be spotted there with that yep, ward. the wards right there. A lot of attention right now down here at the bot uh, area. Yeah, and Leeson was actually looking for a top, but uh, top was already pushed too far. So uh, Olaf's done. Uh, Olaf's done a really good job actually pushing uh, top lane over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's actually pushing the tower because he knows that Abumu is not in the top lane jungle because he did not see Abumu going for that red buff. Right. So he knows that Abumu is, you know, in the bottom bottom side of the map. So he knows he's safe when he pushes. And actually, they yeah. might look to tower Ivy Rayleigh, but it will be very risky. I don't think yeah. they can pull it off. So Olaf backing up now. That's a smart yeah. move there. He was not yeah. safe. Um, in that actually, Leeson just might wait up here. Uh, um, for Fry Rayleigh to come out, and he might actually. Um, I don't think they'll be able to kill him, but they might be able to uh, blow his flash. But actually. Okay. Um, Looks like yeah, now. Yeah, and Amumu just. Um, you know, kind of countered the, cou the, counter the gank, which, you know, made Leeson back off. Uh, Nivea's coming up now to just try and give some backup, but Leeson has already, you know, fallen back, so. Um, doesn't look like doesn't look like much action is going on. They might be able oh, to get they this. Get oh. Olaf now, Olaf on the run. Amumu and I don't think stun, he's able to get out of this. This will be first blood, blood to Amumu. Damn, oh. only a, yeah, first uh, under five minutes here. First yeah. blood. Even though Amumu missed his bandage toss, uh, Anivia was able to land her stun. So um, yep. they were able to they were able to pick up that kill onto Olaf. So actually, Olaf. Do um, you feel like Olaf should have known better out there since he didn't um, see the presence of the other uh, players on the map elsewhere on the mini map? I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure his team called, you know, MIA, uh, you know, saying that Nivia was missing. But um, you know, since there are no wards in that top lane, you, you, you can't know for sure. Um, right, right. So it was kind of, you know, a lucky play on Storm's part because you know the wave was just at that right moment where. Uh, you know, Olaf is just in range for that Anivia stun. Um, uh -oh. you know, just good timing. Um, you know, Xenostorm is trying to go back, but oh, he's uh -oh. coming down for a gank. He's on the does, run. Doesn't does like he flash, should be able to get he out of here. Heal, he will be able to get out of that. Covered pretty well, actually. Yeah, and Varus actually still has flash. Both 
both bot laners stop flash, so you know they're not in any immediate danger. They can get out of most ganks that uh that uh you know CJ throws at them. Uh, whereas Kong actually has no flash. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yep. actually, all members of Storm still have their flash up. Um, only three for CJ. And you know, just uh, another farm fest. Looks like every lane is pretty, pretty even on CS. Um, you know, the top lane 30, 30, 33 to 32. Uh, in the jungle, uh, Amumu and Lee Sin 19 to 20, or actually 20 to 20 now. Um, Rise versus Nivea. Um, yeah, pretty much dead even. And bot lane, uh, slight advantage towards Storm, but uh, it's not it's not significant yet. Neither neither bot laner has gone back to buy items yet, so they're actually exactly the same right now. So we're pretty neck and neck right now. Yep. Even though Storm has gotten that first blood, it did go to a Mumu. Um, you know, I think Mumu is just trying to get a. Trying to, he's looking for a counter gank bot. He's actually sneaking. Oh, and actually, they did pick up Kogma there. Oh, um, yeah. We did not get to see that, but I am assuming that, uh, you know, they got a snare on to Kogma with, uh, you know, the slow plus, uh, plus ignite, which, which, and actually, we'll have a replay come in here uh, on that bot lane kill onto. Here we go. Yeah, yeah here there we it go. Is. And, and the one more auto attack, and he that's is how he's a very, out. All right. very dead Kogma. And uh, that Kogma pass so, is going off. This, I mean, this is really good right now. Uh, yeah, so for that, Storm, Storm's up two kills. We're not even ten minutes in. Yeah, so actually, Xena Storm has a, a slight lead right now, about a thousand gold. Uh, you know, they're, they're looking pretty strong in this early game. Um, so you got um, him leashing that uh, the blue yeah, over there. So Amum is just passing off blue to uh, to Anivia, which uh, you know is a very heavy mana co mana consumer. So you know that blue buff is absolutely necessary. Um, and here we have you know just uh, have insect passing out blue buff to uh, Dade. All right, so both both the sides of him, uh, blue passed off over here. Yep, and uh, uh, that mana buff. I think. Okay. Uh, we should be seeing Leeson going in for the counter red in invade. <coughs> um, in fact, he'll just back out because there is a ward actually spotting him. Yeah, uh, as far as ward distribution goes, it, it's pretty down the middle here. Yeah, both teams uh, have, have, have a lot of ward top. coverage. Yeah. Uh, Leeson's actually coming in to get this, but he will not be able to get that because he has no vision. Both teams, you know, clearing out their jungles. Um, no real gank opportunities, I, I think, at this moment. Just, uh, yeah, just more farming. Yeah, just uh, more farming. More laning here. But actually, bot lane is uh, pushing quite heavily onto a uh, enemy bot. Um, Zyra actually picked up <coughs> picked up a pink board there. But um, yeah, but I mean, CS-wise, Olaf and I really are pretty much, you know, dead even right now. Um, you know. Aurelia has like a four CS advantage, but um, you know that that's really not not significant. Um, Lee Sin is going towards the top lane. We might see a lane gank from Lee Sin. All um, right, but I think Aurelia kind of senses something and is just kind of backing off. Um, you know, right. It players, looks like that lane players not have that six. Oh, but here here comes oh, Lee Sin coming in. Here we in. go. That flash did go off off right off of right. He's trying to get back to that turn. He's got to get back quickly. Oh, he, he did dodge that oh. Lee Sin Q, but I mean, and... I think he will be going down here with that Olaf true damage. Yeah. There we go. And very there nicely is done. A very very CJ starting yeah. to bring it back a little bit. There we go. They knew exactly when to split out. Olaf knew he could take that damage from the turret and still get that kill. And is now hitting oh, that and guard. a lot of damage going out to Cogball. Oh. But the Nunu ulti does go off and stops him in their tracks. It's an excellent dodge there by Kogma. Yeah. Last man. second. Oh, uh -oh. A missed wall by Nivea, but he does go in. It looks like he should be, yeah. Yep, he should be okay. getting out of there. A little bit more action down here at bot, as you can see. Yep, and Nivea is actually just trying to come and poke down. Oh, oh it's Kogma going to get blindsided oh, here. Oh, nice use of flash. Kogma flash out. Low Leeson yeah. going on to Nivea pretty hard. Leeson popping his ulti to try and get away. Oh, actually, Olaf has come down here too. Uh -oh. Looks like they're in trouble. Yeah, yeah and that's a very dead Nivea. Actually, uh, CJ, oh, they will not be going for this dragon. They, they could have yeah. tried for it because they did have the... Uh, 
the uh, player advantage. However, um, it looks like some of their members are too low to do dragon, so they will just back out of that. Right. It'd be terrible to die to the dragon. That doesn't look good in a <laughs> televised yeah. match. Yeah, and uh, but um, you know they could keep pushing their lane, and you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So now you know it's two two. And CJ has uh, started to pick it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, there's about a little bit of a little bit under a thousand gold difference here. Yeah, and um, probably should just see some more farming here. Um, you know, bot lane has all their summoners up. Um, we could see some gank, gank opportunities, but I mean, at least on Storm side, um, everyone except uh, Anivia and Irelia. Um, yeah, only Irelia and Anivia are quite vulnerable right now. Right, uh, right. Neither of them have uh, summoner spells up, and you know, Anivia actually just lost her passive, which is the, that that egg form, which actually it's it's kind of like a guardian angel in the sense. Uh, where you die, you have a chance to come back to life, but uh, the thing about Anivia is that you can't do anything in that state. So you're just an egg sitting. Um, okay. Yeah, so basically that passive will be down for, I believe, six, five to six minutes. Um, so, you know. Full tower pushing down here, yeah, by the way, at the so bottom. Bot, bot trying to push in, Bot, though. Oh, no! The Mars ulti does go off, so does the Zyra ulti, and they will pick up that Lee Sin kill. All right, they're not going to manage to push that lady further. Yeah, back up some of their. They they just blew both their ultimates, so um, they probably won't go in uh, and go go in for a fight. Oh man, they're actually, actually taking a lot of damage here Kog on the run. Kog Kog bot lane. Nice escape. Yeah, um, you know, they still they both still had flash, so uh, they weren't in any real danger, but you know, still good damage output. Um, you know, neither of them have their ult ultimates ready, so it'll it'll be very hard for them to fight fight the opposing bot lane. But um, looks like CJ will just try and push out bot. And here we have a replay, actually. And look at this. Uh, just the uh, combination of ultis. Yep. It's just devastating. Completely punished him. Yeah. Man. And you know, the, these players have done their homework. They have had yeah. tested and tried we you know, different different team comps and such. So Once these guys are over level 6, you got to be careful. Even when you're at that turret, you're not necessarily yeah, safe, exactly. especially when they have studying you know, exactly. abilities. And actually, we have CJ here going for the dragon. Um, and that's going to go uncontested, yeah, that actually. That is uncontested. They, they did uh, you know, use a pink ward for that, but that is definitely worth it. You know, they did notice that, that Storm's bot lane went back, so they just went for that. Olaf and, you know, on the run right now. some aggression from Irelia onto Olaf. And I uh -oh. he, I don't think he'll be able to get it. That Olaf, uh, the Olaf ultimate actually does give you magic, armor and magic resistance. So, you know, you're a bit more tanky and uh, and you can't be CC either. So, um, you know, good, good escape on Olaf. Um, Irelia did have to blow uh, Ignite for that. And actually, uh, you know, Mumu has his ulti up. So, you know, we should look for a... Uh, for an Abubu game somewhere. All right, that probably will be happening pretty soon here. A little bit more juggling going on right now. Yep, and and actually, bo bottom, bottom lane yeah, here has actually been where pushing. most of the action has been yeah, this game. Yeah, pushing They're very that hard. Very hard. Yeah, oh, and the ultimate from Varus and the Zyra ultimate. I don't know if they'll be... Yeah, they will pick yep. up that kill. The Kog'Maw passive going off, but it will not be nearly enough to take out either one of those players. Nicely done there by Storm. A devastating combo in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. That Varus and Syra is devastating with their ultis, you know, when they combine their ultis together. Um, I just, there's nothing they can do. <laughs> Are they going to be able to now take out this turret down here? Uh, it, it looks like they, they're trying to. Um, it's getting it, pretty I mean, low. and they, If they're not take it down, down, actually they're going back now. Uh, I, I, I'm guessing they want to extend the laning period for a little bit longer. Uh, you know, once you do push that first first tier turret, then um, it will be harder to farm that lane. But, um, you know, these Storm, I guess, is just trying to prolong that, that bot lane farm because they are dominating. So, so they just saw ample opportunity to damage that turret now so that when they need to kill it up later, it's just they a free kill turret. It. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So actually, we have Lee Sin here sneaking up, but he will be spotted by that ward. Very smart ward from Irelia, knowing that that is a common route for this particular jungler. You know, these these players, you know, I'm, I'm sure they, they scrim and they practice with each other, you know, sometimes. Oh, for sure. So, and you know, know, when you see all this stuff in practice, there's a lot of mind games that go on. Sometimes we don't even get to see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So actually, just a movement here, just clearing out wards. He does have that oracles. 
so he will need to clear out. Hey, okay, we're basically in mid game. Yeah. So. Right about uh, now. Yeah. I mean, we're. Um, it's still quite early. Um, you know, none of the first tier towers have gotten gone down, except this will be the first tower going down for Xenix Storm. Small gold boost. Uh, we do see Rise and Lee Sin going down here, but it looks like Xenix Storm will be backing out of that. They might actually just go for a, a, a mid push right now. Um, and they are all bunched uh, up in the middle yeah, here. And, uh, one. It looks like, you know, they're trying to fight because of that Immovable Ultimate. You know, they want to, you know, everyone's ultimate is up at the moment. So, you know, they're just trying to get a, uh, a team fight together. So, Irelia, some more aggression onto Olaf. All right, Olaf once again on the run. Olaf yeah. having a hard time here. Yeah, but and that true retreat. damage from Olaf is a lot. So, you know, Irelia does have to be careful. But uh, Olaf is going back there. Looks like uh, everyone just going back to their respective lanes. Um, you know, Varus, Varus and Zyra just going back bot. Well, looks like we might have some more action now here in the middle. Nope, excuse me, they're all regrouping out here now. So I think what, uh, back. I think CJ needs to get Oracles on their team because the warding by Storm right, right now is, they have wards everywhere. Yeah, they have it all the way down into yeah. the side. And uh, right now, uh, CJ, if you look at it. Yeah, and right now, uh, you know, CJ. Which, which, which characters get the Oracle then? Um, usually, usually early mid game, the jungler will get the Oracle. Okay, and just then, because they're already, and they're yeah, taking because they're roaming around, yeah. you know, they have the, uh, the neutrals in the jungle yeah, anyways. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, they will generally push the, oh, but here we have Lisa getting cut. The Ovara's ultimate going down. Will Desire Ultimate go off, but he will flash oh, out of that, but he will get the kill. Beautiful. Beautiful combination. Once again, this Zyra Varus combo is devastating. They have picked up at least three kills from that combo. Yeah, what well, I mean the amount of damage they do when you put them yeah, together? Yeah, another, another skirmish mid. Oh, we have Irelia and, uh, and Anivia going on to Nunu, taking him down. Rise will pick up Irelia. And Storm is just taking a commanding lead. Meanwhile, yeah. uh, top turret hit. And top turret <clears throat> Top turret for down. CJ, yeah, taken out. Uh, and continuing to push this lane, actually. Yeah. Now, I don't think they're going to go for Olaf here, and they're not. And it does look like now um, there's been a little bit of action over here uh, in the middle. Again, no turrets here. Um, from Storm, have even been taken out. Two already destroyed. Yeah. So, uh, I, I believe the Dragon should be coming up in, you know, a couple minutes now. Uh, you know, look look for the teams to group up for that. You know, uh, that that's pretty, you know, important objective uh, that both teams, you know, really want. Especially CJ. I, th I feel like CJ needs to get this Dragon, you know, in order to... In order to stay in this game, well, I mean, uh, they're, they're already getting more and more behind on gold. They're yeah, about, it looks like about uh, 3k behind in gold, and it looks like we might have some lag here. Uh, oh. Just bear with us for a second. Yep, that'll get cleared up in a second. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you're saying they got to get the dragon if they want to come back. Uh, I mean, they're still in this, even though they don't get the dragon. Right, but, but I mean, that would help give them the gold boost. They could get the items. If, if they get the dragon, then they will be in a much in a much healthier place, um, you know, than they are now. You know, currently, you know, Storm is in a, you know, about three, three k gold advantage, uh, a little over three k, but you know, not, not, not huge, but right. Um, it's still an advantage that they need to watch out for. They need to be smart with their engagements. They need to be, they need to focus the right targets, and um, you know, just, just make good plays. They can't, they can't afford another. Uh, they can't afford to lose another team fight, or else they will be in big trouble. It could snowball then. Yeah. Um, looks like some more lag. Sorry for the. Uh, Sorry, thing. folks. Yep. We will be um, <laughs> back into this game in a second. <laughs> so when that lag is resolved, um, we go back into the game. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. What else can they possibly do to try to try to recover here? How um, I mean, they've already lost the top turret and bottom turret. Yes, CJ has. Mm -hmm. This is so, not good for them. So defending the mid turret will also be very important. Um, actually, I, I believe a team fight just happened. We might have missed it. Um, I I think the dragon is up. Yeah, the dragon is up. 
And it looks like Storm is pushing down mid right now. Storm is just dominating right now. Yeah, it looks Middle like Storm turret goes will down. go down. They might be looking to go for this dragon now. CJ is... I. They will be in position, but... They will be... Yeah, because Zyra's low right now, so... Um, you know, they might look for the engage. Uh, all, all, all ten players here grouped up. All right. Oh, Varus actually oh, nice. missed his ulti. Yeah. So here Very comes the there. engage. Lee Sin going in. Zyra going down. All of these players. Oh my are God. All in. Storm is doing yeah. so well though this right now. And CJ is on the run. CJ and is running gonna away. Another Heal pop. They are kiting right now. They do not want to lose any more members. I don't know if either team can go for Dragon Round because they are too low. Yeah, I think they're they way are, too low. Yeah, I think both teams are just going to go back and reset. And let's take a look at this replay right here. The Zyra ultimate, ultimate goes down but misses everyone. It damages Nunu, but it's still mid. The knockup did not apply. However, Zyra does get taken out immediately with that Lee Sin Q plus ulti. After that, um, the storm, Storm's uh, positioning was all grouped up into this choke point above the river. And because of that, they were able to focus down each of uh, the incoming CJ members, essentially melting whoever came in for them. So because of that, they were actually able to come out on top in the two part. Really, really nice stuff there. Uh, it looks like the dragon is now yeah. going to go down here for CJ. That's yeah, some extra money in the bank, but still not enough to even them out with Storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, you know, good pickup for CJ. They they did lose that team fight, I believe, two to one. Um, so, but actually, I think uh, losing one kill um, is worth a dragon. A dragon is worth is only worth it if you do not lose, I, I believe, more than two of your own players. So, uh, you know, since that was a two for one exchange, uh, that actually was overall beneficial to Phoenix or uh, to CJ. Um, you know, just uh, Storm coming in for the blue buff steal. They might be able to catch off Olaf. Olaf popping his ultimate. Uh, Olaf, Olaf, Olaf might be go. Yeah, Olaf, Olaf, Olaf will go stage. out. Amumu will go down to Kog'Maw. Kog'Maw just able to rain down damage. But both teams looks like they will be backing out a one for one. Great team fight in my opinion. Yeah, really nice exchange there. Uh, looks like we once again got some lag over here. Yeah, it's um, some more lag. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so, when that lag is uh, taken out, or when the game gets running again, we'll throw that back up on screen for you. Um, Storm, though, these guys are dominating right now. I mean, this yeah. is like some really impressive stuff from them. Um, I, I, w w where can um, where can CJ go from here? How, how can um, they recover? I feel like both teams actually right now are pretty even. Um, if you look at the past couple team fights, they actually uh, they both. You know, they didn't get aced either team, right? And um, both teams actually you know, only lost one or two members. So, you know, team fight wise, both of these teams actually are pretty even. It looks like we and, got right yeah. back into this in the and, middle of a pretty big skirmish here. And I think I think this is a replay. This is a replay of, of what we just uh, of, of of what we just watched. Um, yeah. See, so both teams actually just only lost one player each side. So, um, you know, a pretty even matchup right now. Um, you know, both teams are 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 fighting very well. You know, especially CJ with that with that disadvantage currently. Um, you know, they're they're fighting they're fighting excellently actually. You know, they're they're still in this. Uh, you know, they just picked up that dragon. Uh, you know, even though they did get their blue was stolen from by Storm, um, they actually came out even on that past team fight. So, what what kind of item building are we gonna see now from these guys? Um, look for some. On the carries, they're probably going to try and finish up their next couple core items. So, you know, for example, uh, Irelia actually just finished her uh, Trinity Force. You know, Anivia finished her uh, Athene's Holy Grail and Banshee's Veil. And Varus finished his uh, Bloodthirster and uh, Phantom Dancer. So, you know, those three characters in particular will most likely go for a more defensive. They might go for, you know, a defensive item now since they have a couple of their core damage items. Um, you know, look for Varus going for either a Guardian Angel or a Quicksilver Sash. Um, Kog'Maw actually is slightly behind. He still hasn't gotten the F-Sword. He did finish his Phantom Dancer, but 
you know, he still, still, uh, once he gets that Infinity Edge, his his damage output will will, will jump significantly. But uh, Aguma here getting uh -oh. scared. Oh, like going he, after he, him. He does flash he out. He will but get away. He will get away from that. It looks like oh, our uh, CJ is trying to go in on them. But oh, Zyra Ultimate going down. Killing Lee Sin, Amu Nunu going down as well, Kong'Maw taking out Irelia, but it looks like Kong'Maw might be going down, Kong'Maw does go down, Rice taking out Varus, and Anivia taking out Olaf, and Anivia's passive with, oh. with, oh, oh, and the very ace nice. with the Zyra passive, Beautiful. that is an ace for Xenix Storm, CJ, that was well fought. But that was really nicely done. Yeah, now it looks teams. like this uh, turret over here should go down. We're deep enough in the game that these guys are not going to respawn right away. Yep. So we have, uh, you know, most of the players still still trying to respawn here. Uh, the mid tower, um, I think it, sh it might go down if Lee Sin doesn't get there on time, but it will go down. Yep. Yep, the mid tower. More money in the banker too. Actually doing a lot of damage there. Yeah, but Leeson will just will just get out of there real quick. Um, I think uh, both teams will now just you know clear their jungle out, secure their buff, uh, secure their buffs, and push their lanes out. Um, I mean, we could start seeing some 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 Baron action. Um, you know, it's getting to that point where you know if you if you win a big team fight and you have at least you know three members up, then you know that Baron is, is always an option. Um, it looks like uh, CJ going in for a, a mid push here. Yeah, CJ trying to come up with something here, yeah, anything. But it, I don't think uh, they'll be able to push on that on that defense at this moment. Uh, looks like Anivia is going back to pick up some items. Yeah, so actually, Irelia is going for the the Guardian Angel now. Uh, usually, you know, Irelia is like to get you know one or two uh big damage items such as trinity force and then go on straight for that tank build to be uh you know uh, uh just a big distraction that you know has you know good damage and and fairly tanky uh you know looks dragon, like we might be going yeah. for the dragon now dragon over here spawn uh storm has it perfectly timed they will pick that up Put a team An uncontested dragon yeah. going to storm and it looks like they're trying to engage, but the ward will spot yeah. them. So they're not going to be able to have yeah, actually surprise there. We have uh, Leeson actually pushing top. So, um, you know, CJ traded that dragon for the top tower, which, you know, is, is okay, but... Is Leeson going to get ambushed here, you think? Uh, I mean, it looks like Leeson's actually in a very bad position. Leeson, I think he's trying to flank the team, but actually that a brilliant Anivial... Really nice setup with that wall there. A brilliant Anivial wall. Completely blocking out Olaf from his team. He could not flash out. He does not have flash. He could not do anything. He was just a sitting duck. And Xenix Storm just annihilated him. And it looks like they might be going for Baron. They will they start are, it. They, in. Xenix Storm or CJ does know this. But I think they're going to get the Baron before it's... Uh, uh, Baron is going low. Leeson might be going for the steal, but... Oh, he does not get the steal. He will be going down. Xenix Storm picks up the Baron. A huge advantage now for Xenix Storm. Storm is playing amazingly right now. Uh, and again, they're doing a great job. You know, in this phase of the game, that's when you, all the players tend to gang up together uh, and push in very significant locations. Here we are. We can see them now pushing mid. Uh, this may, may be because that's the most convenient location to go. It's the closest now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then get over there. And uh, they're going to be hitting this turret pretty yeah, hard. Yeah, really taking a lot of damage. I really now backing up. Yeah, and actually Olaf is quite tanky. It's, it's just that last that last engagement. You know, he got completely cut off. His team was not. Yeah, able he was to just back he was up. isolated. He got yeah. he got a beat down from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It looks so. like now they're seeing that you know with how tanky Olaf is, they're going to have to back off uh, yeah. and go elsewhere. They. So uh, it looks like, uh, yeah, Aureli just completed that Guardian Angel. Uh, Varus, I think he's trying to complete his ban uh, his uh, his Quicksilver Sash. Yeah, Varus does pick up that Quicksilver Sash. He is going for that last Whisperer now. Uh, actually, Anivia almost finishing her Death Cap. Um, you know, Olaf quite tanky now. He has that Frozen Heart. He has a Negatron Cloak. Same with Rise, actually. Almost finishing that Abyssal Scepter, building on towards that Frozen Heart. 
Uh, Kogma almost finishing up that uh, Infinity Edge, which will, you know, greatly boost his damage. Well, actually, Nudu picking up a Zeke's Herald, which also really helps Kogma. Kogma's attack speed will be really, really fast now. Um, but yeah, actually, Anivia just completing her Death Cap. Uh, Zyra built uh, built up a haunting guy, so that will give her you know a little bit more damage. Uh, but she is the support, so you know don't don't expect too much. And right now, CJ is is turtled up a little bit here. It's, yeah, it's pretty hard to get on the map. If you look at even the wards here, there's hardly any <laughs> wards actually out for CJ. Yeah, so Storm just you know it's almost their minions that are having to do the scouting to some <laughs> degree to see you know what, yeah. where they are in the lanes. And for yeah. the most part, Storm's like not in a lane right now. Yeah. So, you know, Storm just with Baron buff there, they're pretty much untouchable at this point. Um, you know, they're just trying not to throw the game, um, you know, just yeah, playing, well, you it, know, just playing it standard. Phases like this in the game, yeah, if they if you screw up and you get aced, then they get to, you know, free reign on the map, and then suddenly yeah. things can get evened out yeah, very yeah. quickly. So actually, so. Lee Sin camping up in this uh, Nice! Right Olaf here. once again, isolated. So Olaf isolated. Oh, they will get that Lee Sin kick on Tavares, the Mumu ult going down. But Olaf it looks like now. the damage and the takiness from Storm is too much. They did get the kill on a move, but two of CJ's members did go down. It looks like they will try and push this tower, but... Well, you know, it, it looks like I don't think they're going to be able to get this tower any, any further. I might be wrong here. Ola, or, you know, Olaf's out, so they have that tank in his factory. Yeah, so and actually, excuse me, I'm dead wrong. They're gonna destroy this turret. <laughs> um, yeah, so they will take that bot tower down. Um, I mean, this next tower will be much harder to clear, but um, they might poke it down a little bit. So you know, during the next push, they can get it. But actually, a ride's getting blocked off a little bit. Um, you know, he's fairly tanky now too. So you know. And he has quite a bit of damage, actually. So he's just actually forcing uh, Storm to back off right now. All right, they're backing up again. Uh, Minions meeting over here. And now coming oh, down here. So actually, they actually go on to engage, on to rise. Oh, oh that wall just the wall. missing yeah. onto Kog'Maw. But actually, all five of CJ's there in bot lane. Olaf running in with that ultimate. Cannot oh. be CC. Anivia Egg going down. Anivia will die. <laughs> Same with, oh no, actually, actually Olaf oh, will go down okay, as Olaf well. Does go Same down, with yes. Zyra though. Yes. So actually, CJ coming out on top in that fight. Two for one for CJ. CJ uh, just beat him back now. And now remember, oh. CJ's behind in gold, as you could see, by uh, almost 10, 10k gold. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, they're behind in, in, in well, kills and in, in tower kills and everything like that. So. CJ now has a small opportunity to try to come back and do some damage. Yeah, you, but I feel like Zenith like Storm just kind of overstayed their welcome there. Uh, yeah, I think I think there's a point in time we saw you know, after they got that initial turret, they just they wanted to keep pushing. Yeah, They're getting yeah. a little bit too greedy. Yeah, exactly. So you know, just Storm over, overstaying their welcome, and uh, we just have a uh, kind of resetting these lanes. Um, you know, just trying to get that golden experience. All right. So actually, um, Baron has. I'm not exactly sure if Baron is still up on the on uh, Storm side. I think it ran out. Uh, you know, we should see Baron in the next couple minutes or so. Uh, so look out for that. So I think both teams now they just kind of want to regain map control. Right. You know, after the after that big. Uh, some some yeah some of the map here has been uh, kind of reset. Minions kind of spread out all over the place here. But uh, we have a lot of focus here in the middle. Uh, engaging the dragon, and in fact, they will go for the dragon storm once again. It looks like this is going to go uncontested as yeah. well. Uncontested dragon for storm. Oh, right. oh, Lee nice. Sin with that nice, nice E out. Olaf going in. Oh, and actually, Olaf will go down. Varus Olaf almost on a Varus. suicide mission there. Yeah. Varus now running out. Yeah, and Varus is just super strong right now. So much damage. Oh, and oh, oh, Divya with a beautiful wall. That was beautiful. This a beautiful. wall play has yeah. been really yeah. nice. Yeah. That corn salad on Anivia. I, I've actually never seen it personally, but this right here shows me he can play Anivia. Yeah. And, and you know, Anivia is one of those champions that does have a very high and skill cap. They're just going to bum rush yeah. this turret now. And, and, they're, and they're taking up actually just to backdoor this turret. And they're going to snipe the inhibitor now. And get this inhibitor, inhibitor goes down. Things are getting out of control right yeah. now. CJ in a lot of trouble. 
Now, I like what we're seeing here right now from Storm. They're backing up. They're not making yeah. the same mistake again. Yeah, Let's take a look at this replay. replay. Yeah, so the Mumu ulti goes down, and Varus is there with nothing on him. Varus is there sitting and auto-attacking whatever is in front of him. No threat from the enemy team. And with that, oh, it so wall. sick. Just so no, nicely done. No chance for CJ. It really shows you that, you know, with the, the makeup of what uh, you know, Storm has, when they're in a group, if you are retreating, they are going to punish you. Yeah. They're going to yeah. get that wall up and give, and give you a serious beatdown. I love it. Yep. And uh, I think this Baron should be spawning up fairly soon. Um, you know, look for both teams warding heavily around that area. You know, this next Baron will most likely decide the game. It, oh, and actually, Varus getting engaged on Varus will go down. Storm oh, is on Storm, the run right now. Storm is in trouble. They actually might have just given up Baron. Yeah, you know, they're definitely out of position for the Baron. Yeah, so they might CJ just going straight for Baron. that Baron. And it looks like Storm trying to, trying to go and contest this, but I don't know what they can do. They don't have a smite because the Mumu has died. They don't have their AD carry. It will be very hard for them to take this out, and CJ will pick that up. Very good play on CJ. Well, now CJ uh, has something going for him right now. Let's yeah. see if they can engineer a comeback. So actually, you know, since Baron buff is worth around 6,000 gold. Oh, and actually here we see the, the engage on, on to Oh score. my god, CJ it was is a, destroying these yeah, guys. Yeah, it was just a outnumbered matchup because there were only three members of Storm in that fight and CG just capitalizing on that mistake and completely shutting them down and picking up that very important Baron. Well, Storm's gonna have to regroup here. Yep, and uh, looks like I really did steal yeah. that red buff. From <laughs> <laughs> Three of them now spawning out here. Yep, um, so look for uh, CG to group up somewhere and push. Um, you know, they wanna... Yeah, which, which lane should they push, actually? Should, should uh, they just go mid? Actually, I'm, I'm honestly not sure if they can push because of their mid inhib inhib inhibitor being down. Um, what they will try and do, though, is just try and get every advantage they can. You know, where just, if yeah. it's getting, you know, the, all the buffs taken out, getting the other buffs, things to the jungle. Uh, it, yeah. it may not result in kills. So they're probably going to wait for their inhibitor to come back. Then. Um, most likely, I mean, they could try and push mid, but that will be a pretty hard push. Because the super yeah, uh, super minions are spawned. Yeah, with the super minions coming in. But actually, Storm looking to push top right now. Um, I think what Storm's trying to do here is, is make sure that they, if the inhibitor comes back, it just yeah, yeah, they, they yeah smash yeah. it again. Oh, so oh, that was actually oh, an interesting yeah, so play there. Salad. Oh, missing his wall. It looks like CJ is oh engaging on to Varus. Varus is split up from from his team. Varus will might go down. Varus will not go down yet. It looks like Storm is team fighting brilliantly, falling yeah. back together. You can see that was an intentional ambush there yeah. by, uh, and by CJ. And will come out on work. top of that team fight despite the the miss miss. Uh, yeah, not a single uh, Storm uh, player uh, was killed there. Yeah, and now they're all low on HP. I, I think they some of them may have to uh, you know recall back home uh -huh. because it's going to be very tough to push. Yeah, uh, that inhibitor down there. Uh, they might try here. Um, yeah, it looks like, you know, CJ will back off from this. Um, oh, they actually are going to try to push yeah, this turn. Yeah, so, um, you know, actually, Varus was out of position during that fight. He was split off from the rest of his team. And if you look here Here's the at the bottom, or, yeah, Varus split off, almost going down, popping heal. The entire Storm team backs off together, focuses that, focuses that Olaf down. And they come out on top of that team fight. That you know, is just oh, their Olaf, I feel like, has had many uh, failed attempts when he runs in there, uh -huh. taking all the damage to actually kill yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like this turret's getting very low here at bottom. Due to yeah. the, you know, the, the domination here from the minions uh, of Storm. Yeah, Varus here, really strong now. Has that Bloodthirster, has that Phantom Dancer, has that Last Whisper, building towards an Infinity Edge now. Uh, Mumu just going more tanky, same with Irelia. Yeah. Uh, Anivia with a massive amount of AP now, with that Death Cap, plus Athene's Holy Grail, and that Void Staff. Has uh, a lot of penetration, he will be doing a lot of damage. But actually, Kong'Maw picked up his uh, Infinity Edge as well, and he has a Guardian Angel. 
So, you know, look oh. for that Kong'Ma, you know, this game as well. Uh, you know, that Kong'Ma will be putting out a lot of damage. And, you know, if, if Storm does not have an answer to that Kong'Ma, you know, it could be a problem for them. Oh, right, and the now engage uh, on Storm, or They're on CJ. jumping into CJ yeah, here. They are Engaging just full force, in. the wall goes down again. Irelia's Guardian Angel being popped up. But Mumu, but they are just so tanky. Uh oh! Oh, Nivea's egg. We're gonna have some casualties here from Storm. And here we go. One, Aurelia does get taken out, but two members, almost three members of CJ have been taken out. Kongma probably gonna uh, go down Kong from Kong running, this. running, 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 and goes going down. down. A three for one exchange for Storm. Another great fight. Right, Storm uh, is now barreling forward, heading towards CJ's base. Uh, yeah, the that. inhibitor is naked right now. There is nothing really to defend it. It looks like this will just be another free inhibitor for Storm. And uh, that's it. That inhibitor's gone down. And as you can see here, it's going to be very easy to take this turn out as well as they are all targeting this down. Yeah. And I think they will get the other inhibitor yeah, as well. They, they, the inhibitor, yeah, they should be able to get this inhibitor. Uh, they get this inhibitor and get out. I don't know what on earth yeah. CJ is going to be able to do. And yeah. they get it. Yeah. So super minions are now spawning like crazy. From the top and mid lane now. That's right. And let's not and forget. And they're actually picking up Dragon now too. <laughs> so, I mean, this gold He's advantage. He's the Dragon right now, yeah. <laughs> is massive. And, you know, when you think about that, remember, bottom turret uh, for the base uh, was actually very low. In fact, it's, oh, yeah. it has not been destroyed just yet, but... Yeah, it is very low, so you know Storm should be have a should have an easy push onto that bottom turret. Right. Um, you know, I, I feel like that's that's their next next move. Um, you know, they're just gonna all go back, get items, get as strong as they can be, and then just fly man push that bot lane. Yeah. Uh, right now the super minions are gonna make it hard enough. I mean, CJ is gonna have to focus on the lanes. Exactly. They have to keep their lanes pushed. They cannot have those super minions pushing onto their nexus. They will have to defend those, and Storm should have an easy time so picking off that bottom turret. Basically, Storm is going to regroup here, get the, the whatever items they, they might need, and then do one final push. Am I yeah. not mistaken? Yeah, that is correct. So uh, CJ has to survive this. This is CJ's um, Yeah, this Alamo is CJ's right pretty much last hope. Uh, Varus actually getting his final item, Infinity Edge. Varus is extremely strong now, much stronger than Kog'Maw. Um, however, you know, Kog'Maw does have that Nunu buff. So Kog'Maw is, is, is not as strong, you know, in, uh, in item terms, but he will still have a, a huge damage output. Um, you know, look, look for, um, you know, Irelia going in for, for, uh, for Kog'Maw. And, and same with, uh, you know, look for Amumu trying to get that snare off. Onto the uh, off with the enemy <laughs> players, and it looks like uh, Storm is just waiting out for Baron to spawn. Yep, they have no vision. CJ yeah, does of this location, so uh, they're probably just gonna get the Baron. And I think this is gonna. Oh wait, no. So looks actually, like CJ might be headed uh, towards you know, Baron though. CJ kind of knows that Baron is coming up, um, but it has I already think spawned. They're just not quite in time. But this Baron will be uncontested. Very easy. Oh Engage God. onto Lee Sin. He will go down immediately, but he does have Guardian Angel. Olaf going down really low. Olaf almost going down. Rise almost going down. CJ's on the All of their team due to OT going down, but surprisingly, no, no players I can't have gone down died yet. Just yet. And oh, there's the first kill goes on to Lee Sin. Right. First casualty there for CJ. Wow. This little and skirmish. Kong Second Kong casualty. And Kogma going down Third. as well. So, in my opinion, Storm is just way too strong right now. Yeah, I think Storm's about uh, to win this. I don't Yeah, I think Storm. They're, they're gonna have their super minions as you can see. The one with that inhibitor. Uh, so it looks response. like this might be coming to close to yeah, this, this second looks game. like it's the beginning of the end here. Yep, and, and Storm there goes is the going first to win tower, here. second tower, here goes damage onto the Nexus. Look at that damage on to rise. No chance. This is GG. GG. Well played by Storm. Clearly, um, the better team there. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. funny because we saw that moment, um, you know, with CJ. Um, they had regrouped. They're coming up there to get the Baron. They get there like two seconds too late. Yeah. Baron yeah. goes down. Boom. I got the buff. 
And then they're just they're running. I thought, I thought for a second they might actually get, get away there, but yeah, um, yeah, it, they did not. So really nice stuff there from Storm. Definitely um, the better team. I cannot wait to see more of these guys. Yeah, and actually, uh, I, I believe our next game will be. Um, it will actually, I think, Najin Sword versus LGIM. So uh, I, I think I was talking about a player from uh, LGIM, Mid King, uh, their their mid player, and you know he he's very respected, very very well known. Um, and you know, let's look for those mid plays. Um, you know, he's very he's known for his uh, his roaming actually. So um, you know, look for Mid King's roaming. Look for. Uh, you know the combination of the jungler and the mid uh, mid lane going for those lane ganks, uh, and I think the next game should be really should good. Should be pretty sick. Yep. Uh, by the way, it's such a treat to have you down here to cast. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm the it. newbie, man. I'm just, I'm just driving the show, but uh -huh. you're doing a great job. Thank, thank you so you, much. Thank you. Um, all right. So, who do you think is going to win in the next match? Uh, the next match, I I'm not sure because actually Najin Sword was was one of the teams that went to the uh, the World Championships a couple weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. So um, so actually Najin Sword, you know, is I, I believe I think they're a slight favorite, you know, coming to this group stage. You know, they they did uh, represent Korea in the World Finals, and uh, you know, L LGIM is a fairly young team, so. Um, you know, it might there might be a mix of you know experience and stuff, but I mean, all all of these players are just phenomenal. So absolutely, uh, well, you know, sometimes you get these seasoned players; they just have more experience, yeah, and yeah. Uh, sometimes better. You know, older players a little bit better at communicating, um, but you never know. Sometimes you get these young guys, and they're just at that right age where mm -hmm. their minds are just. Yeah, it's yeah. still silly putty, you know. Yeah, it could yeah, still be molded yeah, yeah, yeah. to uh, to fit the situation. So mm -hmm. it's going to be cool. A lot of fun to cast that. Yeah. Um. Well, this has been a blast so far uh, casting this League of Legends tournament with you. Yep. I am learning a lot, <laughs> and I'll be and then be able later on to regurgitate what you're saying now <laughs> in future casts, mm -hmm. and then um, I will not look as newbie. Um. <laughs> so. Uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and wrap it up. But uh, coming up next, we're going to have some more League of Legends actions. <laughs> League of Legends action. This is the second outro I messed up. League of Legends action. So stay tuned. Oh, <laughs> they told me to close, but now we have more time to go because the Koreans are still talking. <laughs> but, you know, in a way, when you really think about it, this gives me another opportunity now to try to close out the show smoothly. And we're going to do that <laughs> right now. <laughs>